I've been teasing this segment, looking forward to it. Heather McMahon of the Farewell Tour, which is sold out, uh, coming to New Orleans on December 4th. You can find out information on heatherontour.com. She's also the host of the Absolutely Not podcast. Um, and she's from Atlanta and took T-Bob to the prom for whatever reason when she yes. was a senior. So yes. there's a Very lot lucky. to It's my claim to, to fame to. now. A lot to get to. I went to prom with someone who co-hosted the Today Show. Think about that for a second. It is incredible. Heather, why in the hell did you take T-Bob to prom when you were a senior and he was a sophomore? I'll tell you what right now. First of all, we went to the same school with these kids from kindergarten to 12th grade. Okay. And T-Bob was one of the only guys left who was still a gentleman and not in that awkward creep face. Well, yeah. Okay. You know yeah. what I mean? So the nice guy. He was yeah. a nice guy. <laughs> I mean, I would have liked maybe like he was like yeah, so was, ruggedly was handsome yeah, no, or like something like that. It's all starting yeah. to come together, Heather. Thank yeah, you very I'm, much. I was a nice guy. Um, so, so Heather, you I were... mean, he was like 6'7 and good looking and such a there charmer. I said, I have to take mm, the tallest, most good looking guy to prom. That just snacks are fat. There you go. Take two was much better than take one there, Heather, uh, for, for T-Bob's sake. Um, so, so you're a comedian. You've been a comedian, um, and, and you're you're breaking through. I, I wonder what's the grind like for a comedian out there. I'll tell you what. It's been about ten years of scraping by like a feral cat trying to get out of a like a shelter. <laughs> um, it's been it's been really intense. But you know what? It's crazy. Like when things click, they just kind of click. So. I've been uh, currently touring the U.S. right now on what I'm calling the farewell tour. It's my first headlining national tour, and I figured like it could be the last because it might kill me. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's been it's been absolutely incredible and insane to be on the road and meet people face to face. And I just I love performing, so it's, a, it's definitely a hustle and a grind. But the payoff's been incredible. When so, did you know? Awesome. When did you know that you, that you were about to cross oh. over? Um, well, I think co-hosting the Today Show, yeah, for sure. it's been really <laughs> surreal. Like, you know, when when you're on the face of, like, basically American morning television, um, I don't, I'm more of a late night hour kind of gal, and so the fact that they even asked me to be on the morning hour was beyond. Um, and that was just, it kind of took it to the next level. It was wild. Now, um, and, and, and a lot of this rise was through Instagram. If you don't follow her on Instagram, um, it, it, I mean, she's absolutely hilarious. Like, every... My wife, Rivers, like every female that I know loves her. Here's one right now inside the huddle. Connor Brooks, Heather, I've been hearing your voice every day at 6 o'clock. You're jamming my wife's podcast on Instagram every yeah. day. Keep it up. You're funny. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. She is legitimately one of the funniest people that I've ever met. Uh, now, the angle here, though, she also went to Ole Miss. I actually went and visited Heather at Ole Miss back in the day. Wow. Uh, so we got a little, the Tigers coming to Oxford this weekend, Heather. What are your, what are some of your Oxford memories? Man, I mean, I got to be honest with you. I know that y'all talk about sports. I spell sports with a Z. Um, <laughs> but I, I just, I went to like a couple games. You know, if you go to, if you go to school in Oxford, you're really there for the party. And I know a lot of people are going to get upset about this. But um, I have a fond memory of actually one of the LSU Ole Miss games. I actually got punched in the face by an LSU fan. Why? He was trying. Yeah, yeah, it was a total accident, and everybody was a total gentleman about it. He was trying to fight an Ole Miss fan behind me, and I just happened to turn my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was my freshman year in the Grove, and I just happened to turn my head at the wrong time and got knocked out. But everybody stopped the fight. Made sure I was okay, and then got me. A Help her up for God's sakes! A total gentleman. Yeah, <laughs> punching me in the face. Unbelievable. Go Tigers, Heather. Yeah. Uh, so, if, if nothing else, I think you're. You know, like you said, Oxford will be a crazy party this weekend. Um, what, what What about you? What's so this? You You said that this is your you know first and potentially final tour. Uh, what has yeah. life on tour been like? Honestly, it's survival. You either you have like two options. You either eat or sleep. And I've been surprisingly choosing sleep. Um, but we're playing Atlantic City on Friday doing two shows at the Borgata. And like I just can only imagine what the Atlantic City crowd's going to be like. It's like half degenerate gamblers and then like half Italian grandmas bringing me meatballs. So I'm just <laughs> really here to like meet the audience and see what's happening. Lucky but you. It's been great. Um, yeah. Now, now, Heather, it is uh, we we move from summer into fall. The weather is starting to change here in the South. Um, I, I know that this summer you went through a bit of a white claw phase. As I understand that, are you carrying that through into the colder weather? Here's the deal: white claws, no laws. Um, I learned this out on tour. I actually did a show in Charleston, and women came to the shows 
with just cases of White Claws, and I had never had it before. But then they, like, kind of, like, pressured me into drinking them. And after about four, you can't feel your face, and you kind of just take your pants off. So, yes, <laughs> am I carrying White Claws through the holiday season? I absolutely am. Do you have a favorite character? Because, I mean, like, it seems like you have so many. Do you have a favorite, or, or, or is there one that, that, that maybe you, you're, you're working more to, to perfect? You know, I really love doing Pitbull. Um, he's just so funny to me <laughs> because he could, like, he's, like, the most joyful person. One, you don't realize that you actually know every Pitbull song, whether you listen to him or not. Very you true. do know every lyric to every song. And, two, he could be, like, giving a eulogy at a funeral and still would be like, ha-ha, Grandma said, what's good? <laughs> like, everything about him is funny. Heather, I guess, did you ever get, because it, 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 it's interesting, like, you were on that grind for a long time before all of a sudden this momentum this last year just been crazy watching you kind of explode from afar like were there ever times when you just kind of wanted to just just give up yeah oh absolutely well i applied to be a delta flight attendant because i just thought you know no i'm never gonna book a you know a comedy job and then um it's the funny thing is Delta actually wouldn't hire me as a flight attendant, but now they are one of my sponsors on the tour. <laughs> Got him! Yeah, that, yeah. Yes! That is a great F you back to Delta, isn't it? I guess yeah, you can sponsor I mean, listen, me. I'm, I'm Delta loyal. I'm Delta loyal always. But I think they realized I was a little bit more of a liability if I were to be working on an airplane, you know? Um, Heather, I have very fond memories of us dancing together back in the day in homecomings and Easy. proms. Do you have Easy. the same fond memories? Oh, my God, absolutely. Are you kidding me, T-Bob? Best prom date I ever had in my entire life. I wouldn't change it for the world. So what, you only went to one. Yeah. Hey, 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 it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's still a factual statement that she just made. Heather, I would never yes. advise you because I was looking at some of your uh, some of your characters, and they're all fantastic. And I would never say you should add this one, but a Bama fan would be great mm. for you. Mm. Hey, let me just tell you, uh, go Tigers! I don't really care about sports, but what I do care about is when Alabama loses. Yeah, yes. because the best. I, no matter what, I don't care where you are in the SEC, Alabama fans are the absolute worst. Mm. So I think that is a challenge that is now accepted. I would love to create an Alabama fan. Thank you, Heather. That I would mean, be look, it's, it would it's, be it's a mean, great unifying factor. She looking, told you she doesn't even care, and looking, even she loves Bama losing. Looking at your repertoire, you will knock this one out of the park. I mean, you will crush this one. Uh, Heather, oh, where, well, thank you. Where, where, where can everybody find uh, all of your work? Listen, follow me on Instagram at Heather K. Like Kardashian McMahon. I'm on Twitter <laughs> at the same handle, Heather K. McMahon. And I have a podcast on Apple iTunes and all those things called the Absolutely Not Podcast. And uh, we're just here to have a good time and giggle. So Love co coming it. into uh, coming to New Orleans on December fourth. It's easy to find her online. Easy to find uh, her uh, her fail her farewell tour. And as she said, the uh, the absolutely not podcast. Subscribe, rate, review wherever you get your podcast and wherever you listen. Thank you, Heather. Thank you for this this morning. Thanks, guys. Go Tigers. Yeah. Nice. Thank you so much. That was cool, man. That was Probably. good stuff. All right, at, uh, uh, if you're open. watching online, you saw a picture. I'll put it in the huddle of uh, said prom date. I was very good looking back in the day. Roman Harper, 20 minutes from now.